Well, yeah, this this pastor uh, Jacob Brown. I don't know the man. I don't know his uh, church, um, but I probably it's very likely because I know a lot of Christian uh, ministers uh, who are in the closet. Uh, and you know they're in the closet. How do you know that? Well, I know it because they're married, but they have uh, sort of uh, these effeminate mannerisms. Uh, they will walk a certain way that tips it just a little bit. Uh, sometimes they'll just brush their hand across something in a, a ladylike fashion, and you'll, you'll go ahead and you'll mark them. And you'll make a note of that, and if you've got one of your prayer counselors with you, you'll say, go ahead and mark him, uh, because I think he is, is gay, and I mean gay it doesn't even contain uh, fully uh, what he is. Uh, I'm sorry, what is that? Well, that's what you'll say to one of your prayer counselors. Oh, who are these? Uh, well, I have prayer counselors that are with me all the time, and I'll make note of things I see. And I'll say, all right, there's one there. You can see the way he's walking, almost as if he was in a modeling class. You see how he's putting one foot in front of the other? And that, that doesn't mark him as gay, but uh, he could be. And then if he, you know, has those mannerisms, I, I'm saying... Uh, well, what are you doing with this information? Uh, what I'm doing with the information, I'm saying, then I'll approach them, and I'll say... Uh, again, I only approach the ministers who are in the closet because I think it's very important. And I will say to them, I'll say, uh, uh, Pastor, uh, I'm, I'm uh, Reverend Dave Castorini. I'm with the uh, youth ministry over here in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And you look to me as if you're gay. Uh, and they'll sometimes look shocked like, but nine times out of ten, I'm right. And I'll say, may I, you know, minister the word of God to you? And, uh, <coughs> ah, shit. Uh, what was that? I, I sneezed. I'm sorry. I, I'm very, very sorry if I said a dirty word there. Uh, yeah, you did. You said the shit word. Hey. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, he will uh, say, well, do you think I look uh, a gay? And I'll, and I'll say something. You look queer. Uh, you don't look gay. You look, you look more than that. You look queer. Uh, and, and hold on. I got a hay fever. <laughs> you fucking fag. Uh what did you just say? I'm sorry. I, I apologize for that. Now, right there, there. Your homophobia is coming out. No, no, no. That was... I, I sneaked, what, Look at that. Right in the rear end of him, huh? What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> guy just rear-ended another guy. What are we talking about, Phil? Yeah, that's very funny. All right. Um, so I'll say to them, you are advertising. It looks to me like you're trolling. And they'll say, I'm not gay. And no, I'm not. And I'll say, all right, fine. But I, I do need to warn you. That your mannerisms, your it just screams that uh, you're pounding. If you're not out of the closet, you're pounding on the door, and you want someone to let you out. And those are things that. Uh, now, how how can you judge anyone like that? You don't really know. I, I don't know for sure, but that's when I ask them. And nine times out of ten, they'll say to me, "Mind your own business." And that right there means they're gay. And oh, I, but wait a minute! They never say to you they're gay. Yes, they never. They never admit it, do they? No, they, well, yes, they do by saying, mind your own business, or I will beat you within an inch of your life. What does that say to you, Phil? It says to me that you're pissing them off, you're bothering them. No, that's, no, you're wrong. You're misreading that. That means, yeah, you got it. You nailed me. I'm as gay as gay can be. I'm, uh, I'm a capital G-A-Y. I am gay, exclamation point. That's what I am. And that's what I is. And you are what you is. All right. Um, are you okay? I never felt better. Why? What's wrong? Not nothing. We've just had a kind of a funny day.